Reviewing number 11 here, this one trips people up a little bit. Converting an equation to standard linear form. So remember, it should look like this. AX plus BY equals C. And also, A and B can't be fractions or decimals. So as soon as I say decimals, everyone wants to determine the fractions, or likewise, so they can't be fractions or decimals. And A cannot be negative. So I gotta find a way to make this work. Let's see what happens. First things first, I gotta get my X's and Y's to the same side. So I'm gonna write my equation. Y equals negative 3 fourths X minus five. So I got a couple things I can do here. I wanna get my X on the same side as my Y. What I'm going to do, you might have done something different, but I'm going to add 3 fourths x to each side. Please notice how I write out every step. It helps me keep track of what I'm doing, and you should probably do the same thing because you're not going to get partial credit if you don't show your work. All right. So now it looks like it's almost there, but I've got a fraction here. Good news is it's not negative. That, that leaves one step out of the way. I have to clear my fractions, though. If you remember from one of my previous videos, as well as what we've done in class, whoops, let's undo that. I was just trying to shrink my work. Didn't work out as well as I hoped. It's okay. There we go. All right, how do I clear the fraction? I'm going to multiply everything by the denominator, which is 4 here. Multiply everything by 4. Watch what happens. These 4s cancel out. I get 3x. 4 times y gives me 4y. Negative 5 times 4 gives me negative 20. A and B, they are not fractions or decimals. And A is positive, it is now in standard linear form. Hopefully you got the same answer.